Hello again, friends. I'm Scott. Welcome to another episode of Grow Your Victory. Um, we're out back up here in the Victory Garden today. This is going to be a quick episode on account of the fact it's 100 degrees out here and I'm dying. But I wanted to get this done. I had a good idea at work today and that happens so infrequently I decided that we had probably better take advantage of it. <clears throat> if you were here for my last episode, you remember me saying that I thought the deer were getting after our strawberries. And I talked about possibly getting up here with some chicken wire to uh, secure them. Well, if you were with me a couple of episodes ago, you remember that I hate chicken wire. Uh, chicken wire is miserable to work with. I don't enjoy bleeding, which is what chicken wire inevitably leads to. And so I came up with a brilliant idea today involving some hula hoops, some netting, and we'll use some screws around the perimeter of our bed to secure the netting. So this is going to be a quickie. I don't want to be out here too long. Let's grow. So what I'm going to do is take these hula hoops that I bought at the dollar store for three bucks a piece and I'm going to take my pocket knife and I'm going to cut them like so. And we are going to use these to build a hoop house or a hoop system for our netting. I don't know what it is that rattles inside the hula hoop, but it's all falling out right now. Anywho, it's going to go something like this. We'll do that four more times real quick and get ready to install our netting. Okay gang, now that we have our five hula hoops installed, we're going to go around the outside of the bed with our screws. We're going to screw them in at a slightly upward angle so we can take our netting and hook them. And uh, should work out pretty not too bad. So we'll get that knocked out real quick. get our netting installed.
Okay, gang, like we said, relatively quick, relatively inexpensive, and hopefully uh, a solution for our problems. You can see that five hula hoops and a 7x20 piece of garden netting from the hardware store should be keeping the deer, birds, and so forth out of the uh, strawberries. It'll be easy enough to peel back so we can weed or pick berries or whatever else. And uh, yeah. Thanks for joining me out here in the garden today, gang. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, if you did enjoy it, go ahead and click like and subscribe. Join the channel so you can uh, stay up to date on our content. And until then, throw your victory.